Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, I appreciate it. This video covers the new hero, Tess Greymane. Well, you might think, Firebat, that's not new. I've played Tess Greymane before, but it's recently been updated. And now, whenever you use the hero power, it shows the entire warband of your opponent, which means it bypasses the rules of how many minions can be displayed from the warband. So even on level two, instead of seeing four minions, you're gonna be seeing the full seven, which allows you to really pick and choose which minions you wanna take from your opponent's warband to get some easy triples. I think this hero is super fun to play and gonna be a big impact on the metagame in Battlegrounds. Did any of these get changed? Tess got changed. So now, uh, people explained this to me, but it refreshes with Bob's with your opponent's last warband. Instead of your opponent's last warband, except for ones that are above the tier you're on or something. It's better now. What's your strategy this time, partner? Ooh, Salamental. Yeah, entire warband, not just some minions from the board. Oh, so it's their whole freaking board. All seven. So it's a seven minion shop. Uh, okay, I've, I'm picking up what they're putting down now. Nailing it. So we get hero power and get the full warband of only a rock pool hunter. It's more of a late game hero power. Oh, those all came up really quickly. I feel like I'm late to the party. They all leveled before I even got to the store. The new Rat King's underwhelming. I imagine the new Rat King would be underwhelming. I mean, it still has the same exact problem as the old Rat King. Sometimes you don't get the things. There's five tribes now or whatever, so it's tough. I'll only post at least one or wait. I mean, I want to get some new Battlegrounds content out today for the YouTube gameplay. The battle is really raging out there. But we might get better ones. And that one was pretty early. So we could try and wait for a different one. But I just wanted to make sure the content was available to you so we could get it if it ha happens to be the best one. Okay, it's got elementals. Might be able to steal this elemental. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money though. I'm greedy. Sorry, Harvest Golem. It's also, it's two bodies, so it's not that bad versus Deathwing. Harvest Golem's obviously slightly better, but... I mean, Harvest Golem's actually exactly the same, right? Because he gets one shot by anything. He sold all of his minions to remove my hero power's power. So all I can get is the second half of his elemental, which granted is a triple. So I can hero power to get a triple if I want. Your minions really or I can just buy two weight. things. So I could buy one hero power, sell Selemental, buy Selemental, make a triple, get a three drop, or I could wait. I could level hero power, freeze, get a four drop next turn. Early four drop to try and go for... Pirates aren't even in, so you can't even get gold grubber. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, so probably not. Probably just do this guy and this guy. This guy has uh, two things I want, kind of. You bet nobody has the full Salamental. They only got the second half. You're getting jibbed. It. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Okay, probably just do that. If we can get a Selemental from anyone's board, that's two triples. So we're going to try and wait for the double triple. Because the golden one sells for two water droplets. So we can make some moves. We just need anyone on their entire board to have a fully intact blue 2-2. Two -two. I don't have space for another Murloc scout to try and build that triple. So I couldn't take, I couldn't like Hero Power take the Murloc. I mean, I guess I'd have more space if I sold this Hero Power, made the triple with that, and then put the space there. I'd do that maybe if pirates were in, so I could try and get gold grubber, but with Y'all no beasts, no pirates, you can't even hit the gold grubber. Wow. That is very synergistic. <laughs> that soul juggler is about to melt me. Oh, wait! Even without the soul juggler, he still has a lot of stats, but he gives us a chance. Yeah, we did that in, like, the most value trade way we possibly could. Still just got wrecked by the gang. Some fresh recruits for you. This guy has Murlocs. This is a combo. We could just do that and then try and discover something. Take our one triple and not be greedy. 
I guess I could have done the triple first, see if I wanted this. Yeah, this is a this is a strange ordering. Go for the four. I need board space. Take the Murloc, see if we get another triple there. Honestly, the other guy has Murloc, so maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. I have two directions I could go, and I'm doing them at the same time. It's creative. There's one Murloc guy. That's it. There's like a few Murlocs flown around. We don't have rock pools on our squad at the moment. We're not taking much damage for this. Not having this in play ticking up though is kind of bad. I should have just went full Murloc, I think. But if I ordered this correctly, I would have done the Discover first, seen the Primal Fin, and then made a better decision. I've got some fresh recruits for you. We need to level. The last guy had nothing I really wanted. I mean, I could get like two rock pools, but okay. Put that bag in the bowl. Okay. The mech stuff. I need to make two slots so I can annoy a module with this. So we're getting rid of what? I guess these two fours are pretty little. Come close and listen. I want to try and find like micros for that eventually, I guess. I think I got too excited at the new, the new mech scaler, the Iron Sensei excited me too much. Probably wasn't a good buy there. I should have went full Murloc. We can get a Deflector or a Rover from him, or a Leaper. Just switch to his comp. Going out there. Yeah, we should probably do that. Give up the Murlocs. We need this on this first. I don't want to end on a Leaper though, because I don't want to absorb buffs. But I do want to play the Leaper. Ah, it'll be fine, it won't absorb any buffs. And we need something that generates space first. Put it third. Okay. Yeah, I hate. I, I went towards Murlocs and I keep regretting it now. I should have picked one or the other. Either could have worked fine, but not both. Not I both. You can win this thing. Both was not the big. Ooh. Senseis are doing good though. Those are some smart senseis. There's the sensei triple on my hero power. It's a big deal. With this comp, what are we looking for on five or six? The sensei is the scaler, so we're not really looking for anything else to go alongside it. So we probably just don't level. Don't fear the Leaper. Like, don't fear the Reaper. Is that the Blue Oyster Cult? Your minions really Ooh, pulled these their are good. Weight. Yeah, we're definitely not leveling. Can get that guy out there. Stand out there. Come close and listen. But gurgle. I could also get. I could use Tavern Tempest just to buy one of these. Get rid of my 330. Maybe that's better than a Begurgle. And sometimes we get more money. So I don't have any buffs going into that um, Leaper. 329 is not the worst minion in the world. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. 
had my new video do? I don't know, Wasank. I don't know yet. It takes time to figure it out, but the patch notes one was my best there. video in the first like couple hours out of all the videos I've done recently. Which is good. Overall, things have been generally looking up, YouTube-wise. They've been looking up kind of slowly, but looking up. But that's part of the thing, right? It's a process. It takes time. Nothing ever gets built in a day. And to be honest, I didn't put, like, tons of focus into YouTube for the longest time. The longest time I've been trying to put more focus into Twitch. You're good at this. We don't want to actually make that triple. We want to just keep buffing them independently. Where am I? I just versed Omu. Omu had a little rag. Let's take that. Do you want to buy that for the little rag? What else did he have? I like where you're going with this. The brand is also kind of interesting, right? Gonna cycle through some buffs, I think. I don't want to go and know me. I think I want to keep these around and buff them with a little rag. Maybe even freeze this brand to try and take a leaper from this guy or something. And I'll freeze that so that we have access to the brand. And we'll put this up front. Make space. Loose. Well, how do you pronounce that? Luscious, luscious old, bush, luscious, luscious all, luscious, luscious all, luscious. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the Mad Cave team thing. Mind Shield Dragons. The triple on that that we don't need. They have two rovers. Yeah, he's got two rovers. I can triple the rover. Drilling the rover is kind of good because it makes four sixes. So it's not bad. He's kind of late for it, but maybe it's worth six, seven gold investment to triple the rover. Dude, another top four? We're killing it! Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. You guys also mix? I don't think I want that, right? I'll just take the double rovers. That's what I would have picked. Styles. Murazan's kinda of fun, I guess. I'll take the Murazan, I think, in suit. And then we just roll past this. These 3-6 dragons are a little interesting. If we reverse the dragon opponent again, maybe that'd be something we're into. But I think I want to just roll and see if we hit something to buy. Looks like you can get a triple. I don't want that triple bob. Because the dragon's pretty similar in power level to this. 2-2 two, two buff isn't worth freezing. We already have enough micros. Can you ever get enough micros? Yeah, you can get enough micros. I don't want to save this crap. We need to sell this and buy more elementals. Light Tank, Battlemaster. Dude, there's so many people with the Deflectos, but it keeps destroying so many Deflectos. It's so weird. Did they mess up the pools with this patch? They made it with so Deflectos in every other shop. Oh, not that one, dude. Wait, am I gonna lose this? No, this is still alive. This thing farms. Every game's a tuber with the VOD channel. I guess that is true, though. Might I pick the elemental for rag buffs? It was only a two-star elemental, so it only gives plus two, plus two, right? Nice work out there. Keep up yeah, the so it's not great at a plus two, plus two. So where am I? 
I'm here. I played against Keltas. Keltas is there. Nothing we want. Let's find them elementals. I have to tavern up to get the higher tavern tier elementals. Let's see if we get better in a one roll. Better hire a recruit while you can. Now the sensei. It's a plus two plus two buff. Sometimes it absorbs my plus four plus four buff though. We want to wait until this guy to play this. I would like using gold for plus two plus two buffs though. I think I'll roll past it. We can find something. Looks like you can get a triple. None of that. You're gonna have to go there to make space. Argus. Argus. Uh, don't want more than one taunt, honestly. Guy does have a brand though. Just sell this, sell this, Bran Argus, these guys. Try and go for more resets. Oh, he got rid of the Bran. We're gonna get his second little rag though, so this is really good. We could triple little rag this turn. Discovered one. I don't remember. I must have missed it, man. <laughs> I can't remember everything. Sorry. Your minions really pulled their weight. Uh, I'm down to buy this. It's a good use of money, usually. Never lucky. Oh, I was supposed to play the rag first, anyway. This is my realm. We can't quite afford to try and triple that this turn, but we could triple that in the future. If we wanted to. I would probably just run things through for buffs. It's too many buffs. We're gonna have to buy things again next turn, probably. We can triple it. I forgot we already had one, we didn't need to buy all three. Maybe we just do that. We lose buffs, but maybe we get the rag. Uh, right. This is everyone's gunning. <laughs> Watch out! Uh, we have a space problem at the moment. Ooh. We're gonna get the rank triple. Yeah, I ordered things wrong on accident. Now this isn't gonna make something for the shield. Unless something dies. It's okay, we didn't need it to shield that attack anyway. That Battlemaster's big. Gonna take a while to outscale that thing. At least usually all we loot drop is the battle master, so we're not dying here. And then we get Rag next turn. That's just kinda insane. Maybe this is the YouTube video talking about how broken new Tess is. Cause I feel like I played this horribly. Rough battle. Pick yourself back up and turn it around. That's quite the army you're building, friend. Honestly, I'd probably get this too. A good tactical choice. This is my realm. Ooh. Uh, I'm so invested in this mech stuff though, it's hard to justify the gar. But maybe. I could put it here and just run it through with just rag as my elemental on board. It's not gonna be getting that much health. It's probably just an amalgadon for poison. And they nerfed Amalgadon a little bit, though. Can I, maybe I brand Amalgadon. There's one, two, so we can try and get poison. Give it a go, anyway. Who knows what secrets will poison, no shield, though. But poison's good at this stage. This is an elemental, so we'll jam that. Go big or go home, I always... 
they say? With the poison just up front. He's got shield guys, but that up front, then the poison. Alright. Woo! 98.4% lethal. You love to see that. Maybe we can put this game and the other game as the YouTube video and just make Ed work overtime. What do you guys think about that? Make Ed make two videos. I'm kidding. All right, we're looking for Elementals and Divine Shield Man. Um, I honestly think we just get rid of this and play Elementals through. Wait, was my last opponent? I forgot about that whole effect. He doesn't have anything we want. Yeah, that's why I tuned it out. He's got Crapola. That's why we smashed him. That's a reasonable buff. Yeah, I don't think this is a good unit to have anyway. It's got poison, but it's like, it's small, and he's probably got shields. Well, wait, wait, we need a poison versus this guy. This is Battlemaster guy, dude. We need the poison. We have to give up the rag. If it was anybody except Battlemaster guy. But it had to be Battlemaster guy, so we have to give up a rag. Everyone's gonna hate me in the YouTube comments for selling a rag, dude. I hate selling a rag. So we need this a little bit towards the back. It is taunt, which is unfortunate. We need it to somehow live. No, we don't want that triple. I almost froze. I had to make myself stop. Okay, okay, okay. No. Not okay. We needed the poison to live. Apparently even with the poison dying, because it dies most of the time, right? We got a pretty good shot. We're dead. Ah, the poison needed to connect. Seventy-four percent to win. Update tech tracker. Ooh, you're right, there is a new update available. Look here to update now. Alright, we might do this one as the YouTube video. Today we have a game with Elise Starseeker, which used to be a tier 5 hero, but has recently undergone some changes. The map now that you get from taverning him up with the hero from the passive used to cost 3 to discover a minion of the tavern tier you just leveled to. Now it's going to cost 2 to discover a minion of the tavern tier that you leveled up to. So.